Today's video is sponsored by KiwiCo. More on them later. One of the most viral miniature craft kits out there and we have our hands on it. Yes, we have our hands on the Miniverse Make It Mini Lifestyle Mystery Box Craft Kits. For those of you who don't know, Make It Mini Miniverse is a craft kit mystery box full of tiny crafts using resin. In previous videos, we've made tiny foods using tiny ingredients that look so cute and we can make actual end results with kinds of foods like cakes or pies and even soup. So the goal for today will be to unbox at least three to four different projects. Now since these are mystery boxes, it's possible we'll get doubles. But, 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 this one here is super viral because I've been tagged everywhere. And I really do appreciate you grains for being my eyes and tagging me on new products you want me to check out. And the idea behind the lifestyle Make It Mini Miniverse is that we can make small decorations that you can put around your house. Anything from aquariums, and as you can see on the package itself, we have different kinds of cacti. And yes, this is series one, and it clearly says on the box that there are 12 to collect. Now these are so rare and sold out everywhere. If you're able to find these and you want them, don't hesitate, just grab them because when I placed the order for 12 of them, I only got seven and they're like, well, it's sold out. So we're gonna give you five another time. And each one of these cost me $10 US. Kitty editor, you here? Thank you for being here. I need you to take out your cute little kitty calculator and put on your glasses. You're adorable when you have your glasses on. <laughs> so we got 12 of them at $10 US and I paid $30 shipping. Again, that's US. Now let's change all of that to Canadian, and there you go. That's how much I paid for these mystery boxes. And just so we're clear, these are not here in Canada yet, so I do have to buy them from the US. And as you can see here full screen, these are all the different projects we can make. Let me know in the comment section below, which one do you hope that we get today? And let me know at the end of the video if we actually ended up getting it. For me, I am a huge sucker for small aquariums, so I really hope we do get the tiny turtle tank, because previously on my channel, I've done so many miniature types of aquariums with resin and I'll leave a playlist for them down below in the description box. I've been a huge fan of resin before it even became trendy, specifically UV resin. And UV resin is a material that is a liquid when hardened turns into a glassy plastic material. So don't forget to tell me which one you really want us to get. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and click on all notifications while you're there, which will make you a grain of salt in the Salt Shaker family. My coloring book is still up for grabs. Did you say unicorns? Did you say dragons? Did anyone say evil burb? <laughs> And so, introducing the Creatures of Darkness coloring book set. In this set, you will be getting a folder of 22 illustrations printed on cardstock. And the illustrations are done in a Disney villain type fashion that were inspired by my own sculptures. 16 gorgeous, vibrant colors of watercolor, especially made for beginners. And these colors were selected specifically for this kit. 12 colored pencils that are super pigmented and buttery smooth on paper. And yes, this kit also gets your own washi tape. I absolutely love the way it looks and how it stretches and just has a rainbow-esque look to it with the dark background and water brushes to make your water coloring more convenient. All these for only $39.99, or if you want to get the digital copy, for $22.99. However, if you want both, it's at $49.99, and you get a $75 value for this price. And here are some examples of pages that Ugrains have colored. Thank you for submitting them. If you're interested in picking up your own, I will link it down below. And again, thank you so much for all the love and just excitement around this project. All right, without further delay, let's go ahead and move these to the side. Just give me a second. There. All right, how do we open you? Aha! So we have this tiny strip over here. Now, I did mention that these tiny strips don't always work. They really need to make them a little larger. Because look at this. We can't get the other side here. Please, please open. Time to go in with a knife. All right, let's get you here, like a saw. Will this help? Yes! <laughs> Why? Why? Okay. And look at that. This next layer actually shows us all the different kinds of projects that we can do. We do have a cactus, candle, little plants. I don't know plants names because I can't keep plants alive. No matter how hard I try, I have the opposite of a green thumb. The colors do remind me of McDonald's though. It's the branding, the yellow and the red. We got you. Nice. Okay, this is very different. How do I open you? Do I twist you? 
Oh, okay. My goodness. We have, oh my goodness. Okay, let's, let's pull one thing at a time here. This is so new and so different because we're so used to making foods. We have here H2O, which is water. So we have fresh water over here. Very cute. Looks like a water jug, the ones that you can get from the grocery stores. Next, okay, these are also different. So here we have paper. It says, thank you. What else do we have? We have another surprise. We have tweezers. What is that? Oh my goodness, that's a lot of paper. We have a shelf, I guess. Okay. Oh my goodness, wait, is that a shelf? That is a shelf. No way, that's the, like, no, I can't talk anymore. That's like the cute little Zen shelves that I've also seen in Animal Crossing. Super cute. So I'm guessing this kind of sits like so. Wait, no, 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 no. This sits here. Hang on, let's get my little felt over here because everything is kind of white. So I see that this is supposed to click here, right? Yes. Okay, this is clicking here. So we are getting a kind of decorative shelf, but I feel like this is upside down. Maybe this is supposed to go this way. It looks way better that way. Yeah, I think this way makes the most sense. Otherwise it's upside down. Okay, that is cute. That is really cute. I like this. This is a really nice display idea. And then here we have instruction guides on how to do these videos, but I know what I'm doing so I don't need it and here we have all the different things and projects but the images are really faded and I mean really hard to see and the ones on the right says coming soon okay it's really hard to see so we can get candles so we have different kinds of candles here we have little aquariums oh no the turtle is not available yet mother of shrimp okay at least we can get a goldfish or a Nemo okay no wait we can get a turtle okay 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 I take that back Okay, I really want the turtle. I think there's a beta, definitely. We get more different kinds. We have a purple beta. We have a different kind of fish. We have cacti. We have succulents. Yeah, different succulents, more cactuses or cacti and more succulents and more hanging plants. And this is really cute. I really love the design here of the cat. But okay, let's see what we have. This one looks like it's wrapped in newspaper. <gasps> We have an aquarium. Oh, 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 this is exciting. Okay, so we have a little bowl that's shaped in a cat type head. Next, you are, no way, we have tiny goldfish. I am really happy right now. Like you have no idea how excited I am to get an aquarium because that's just my thing. Let me bring you grains a little closer and look at this. They're in a little baggie and it does say here, it's really hard to see. Everything's really hard to see. Aqua Sun. They went a little pale on the prints so I hope that they can work on something like that in series two but this is really, really cute. Next I'm guessing is probably the sand or some kind of substrate. And ooh, look, there's so much going on here. We have a tiny plant, very cute for the aquarium. I like it. Yes, we do have tiny pink rocks. Everything is tiny. Fish friends approved, quality pebbles. Look how happy this fish is. Like, yay, I'm so happy. Now, just to be very clear, rounded aquariums like this are not good for your fish. So make sure you can always get the biggest tank that you can afford for any of your fishy friends. But since this is decoration, it's okay. <laughs> Here's what the front looks like. This is a really happy fish. It says 100% happy, very cute. Okay, let's see the instructions in the papers. Aha. Uh -huh. Got it. And here are the list of items that we got to match what we actually have. And let's turn it around. Let's see what the instructions say. Oh, I disagree. Wait, no, no, no. I actually agree with the instructions for one of the rare times. So it says, wait, that is confusing. What is three and five? Is that millimeters? I don't understand. Hang on. I don't understand. Okay, let's just look at the steps. Step one, put your pebbles. Step two, put your fishies and your plant. Step three, put some resin, let it harden. And then step four, put more of the resin water and harden it again. Okay, let's see what that looks like. You know, I'm kind of curious to see. Let's move the uh, little felt because this was wrapped around the tiny aquarium. And what is it? It looks like little newspaper, how to care for your fish. So we have fresh versus salt water, very cute. It actually doesn't say anything. If we look closer, you can see that the letters here are not, maybe they're in Latin, I can't really tell. If anyone knows what it says, feel free to let us know. But the headlines are definitely in English. So a beginner's guide to raising your fish, very cute. 
find your match. So we have the different kinds of aquatic creatures here. Bed effects and great catch. So this is really cute. Very cute. I love the details. Now let's see the water that they supply. Okay, and it is closed, but it should be pretty easy to open. Voila. And as far as I can tell, I believe the water is actually transparent. So we don't get a blue type of effect for water. Now, if we do get there, I will show you how to make your water into a blue effect. But step one does say to put the rocks in. However, I will disagree because you're going to get air pockets. So we're gonna start by putting our water. If you're new here, I don't follow instructions because I am an expert at using resin. So therefore I can experiment a little more to show you more advanced ways to make your projects. So we're gonna bring our felt back over here so that we can see it better. So first things first, let's go ahead and open our little rocks. Oh my goodness. Do they actually come out as little rocks? Hello? Are they sticky? Kind of. Okay, that's interesting. They're kind of sticky and they shape really nicely. Look at that. I can make them into a little carrot and it kind of holds its shape. Okay, that's interesting. Didn't expect that. So let's put a little bit of water first, like a saw. And I'm just gonna make it so that the resin goes a little bit of everywhere. We want to avoid as many air pockets as possible. And we do get these tiny tweezer things. So I'm gonna help the resin move a little faster, like a saw. Voila, very nice. Now let's pour our rocks. I don't think we're gonna need all of it. So let's put half and see where that takes us. Well, look at that. You can see the little strands here. Very interesting. And again, we're going to go in with our little tweezers and smush it so that it's as even as possible. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need more than half. Okay, we still need the whole back end here. So I was able to smush as best as I could. Because it is pretty sticky, it was a little hard to kind of flatten it down. Whereas if it were just tiny rocks without the stickiness, it would have been just easier to get it as a flat surface. But now, according to the instructions, we put the plant to the left and the fish kind of center. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's our plant, very, very cute. And we're gonna shove it as far as we can to the left, oh my goodness, it's very sticky. Okay, like this, no, come on. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take the tweezers cause I have sausage fingers and we need to get this here. Voila, let me cover it with rocks. There we go, so far so good. Now we can take out our fish and it looks like they're on platforms. Let's open this, my goodness, look at you. <gasps> ah, no fishies! <laughs> Okay, we got them. We got them. They're so tiny. Look, here's my thumb and look how tiny these little fish are. That is adorable. And the fact that they come on platforms really does make it easier to actually put this project together. Otherwise we would have needed maybe three to four different layers. But right now we can work with two different layers. So I'm gonna try and have them at two different levels like this and one in front, one in back. Not sure if that's going to be possible. It is actually a really tight fit in there. Oh my goodness, no, fish. Please. Okay, you know what? This is getting pretty annoying. I think I'm going to go ahead and clear a space for it because there are two different platforms. If you remember the way that this is designed, there was a circle in the middle and then on the outside. So I'm gonna push everything a little bit on the sides. There, please, just please. And we're gonna put one fish here, like I saw. Looks good. And we're going to put the other fish over at, near the front, near the plant. Doesn't look too bad. Okay, now the trick is going to be getting these rocks where they need to be these sticky, super sticky rocks that have no business being sticky. <laughs> give me a second. Now they don't give us two tools to work with, but I'm going to go ahead and take a toothpick. Maybe this is going to help a little bit since there are tight spaces. There we go. That's looking good from the front. Oh no, my fish are skewed. <laughs> oh no. Hang on, we need to make sure that they're over here. Okay, so fishy number one, you gotta face that way. And fishy number two, you have to be over here. Like a so. I think that's better. All right, so I was finally able to get the fish looking kind of decent and as much centered as possible on that tiny platform. That tiny platform actually makes it really difficult. And we, since we did put resin, I'm going to go ahead and harden this. Now I'm not going to use sunlight because sunlight takes anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes. I'm going to use my own UV light, which is going to take about one to two minutes. I'm gonna speed this process up. So I'm gonna put you right up here and lights on. And let's wait a minute for things to hold on to each other. A few moments later. All right, and you can see that our fish, look at that, I'm pushing the fish and they're staying in the spot. I think that's that's helping us a lot right now. Let's add more of the water. And I'm going to make sure that I really get the water in the plant. So we want to avoid more air pockets. So we're gonna definitely coat that plant as much as possible. Come on. And now the fishies, very nice. If you have any kind of items in an aquarium, you want to make sure that you coat these items first to avoid as many air pockets. All right, that's looking good. Let's swirl it all around. So far, so good. 
And look at that, as we leave it for just a little bit, we're starting to get some air so we can pop those up. Come on, we don't want you. Some bubbles are okay. Others like this big one over there at the front, not okay. So we need to pop this one as well. Come on, come on, voila. Okay, I'm just gonna tap it a little bit to get more of that air out. Looking good. And I'm gonna go ahead and harden this as well. Do we have more air pocket? Hang on. We have an air pocket coming out of nowhere. Look at you. This one here. Oh my goodness. It was just about to start. There you go. No more air pockets. Stop it. The thing with UV resin is you can't harden it in thick layers. Otherwise it may crack. So we're going to stop it here and then there's a second half after. No more air pockets. There. Stay good. And now that everything is set and hardened, all I'm doing on this next layer is putting the rest of the water to top it off and remove any kind of air pockets. And we're going to go ahead and harden it again under the UV light. And here it is all done. I am so frustrated. Despite the fact that I've taken every precaution that I could in order to avoid bubbles, look at this big bubble that's just hanging around near the plant. It is so gigantic that it basically covers the entire plant. The other thing that I don't like about this specific design, despite the fact that the idea is cute, the plant is too big for the actual tank. You can see that even though I've put all of the water, the plant is still sticking out from the top. And keep in mind, this is on the lower part of the platform. And unfortunately with resin, once it's hardened, it's hardened, you can't get rid of these tiny bubbles or even the large bubbles. Sometimes these things just happen. So I'm going to give this a cuteness level of nine on 10 and the practicality level of crafting this one, maybe a six on 10. The platform really does make things hard. By the way, with learning season right around the corner, whether it be courses or self-enrichment, I'd like to talk about today's sponsor, KiwiCo. For those of you who don't know KiwiCo, they are a monthly subscription box that provides monthly crate delivered straight to your door, designed by experts for hands-on learning. In addition to being for little ones as well, you have crates that go up to 100 years old, with lines that range from Panda Crate for little ones that deliver every other month, all the way to Maker Crate for those of us who like to create crafty or artsy things. And as someone who was a teacher, I remember my students absolutely adoring not just doing hands-on, but seeing the wonderful magazines that come in these crates and see the students' eyes just flash with absolute joy at the illustrations, at the facts, at the colors, just everything about these little magazines are phenomenal. Let's go ahead and make something. A walking robot. I love how easy to follow each of these instructions is. Step one, body battery. Oof, magic. Now let's add our battery pack and the wires in. Now we put together the different body parts and now it's time to see how well it walks. Button on. Oh, um again. <laughs> and you can customize it. And as I mentioned, every crate is designed by an expert team to inspire excitement, curiosity, and moments of discovery. In addition to getting really amazing quality products, you're also getting everything you need. So you don't have to run off and get more supplementary items to create the projects. And these boxes do make great activities, especially for rainy days. Especially that many of you may not know that Kiwi Code subscription box start as low as $20 a month. So what are you waiting for? Check the link down below or the pinned comment or go to kiwico.com forward slash nerdycrafter and use code nerdycrafter to get 50% off the first month of KiwiCo. Again, that's kiwico.com forward slash nerdycrafter, code nerdycrafter for 50% off your first KiwiCo crate. Thank you KiwiCo for sponsoring a portion of today's video. This is a perfect time to remind you grains and YouTube that my videos are product reviews for people with purchasing power, not for little ones. My content never was and never will be for kids. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> Let's see what our second project is. Ooh, what do we have here? So we have one, two. Oh, that is new. Look at that. Oh, it says a candle. That's gonna be interesting. And here, I'm guessing, is the wax birthday. A birthday wax? A birthday candle? Here we have this. And we have all of these papers, which we don't need. And then we have the shelf for decoration. Let's put you together. That clips in really nice. And then we're gonna turn the shelf on the other side because now it looks better standing like so. And it looks like we have a nozzle. So we're gonna see what we're gonna need the nozzle for. So we have three different, oh my goodness. <laughs> Why did that fly away? So here we have three surprises. Let's start with the smaller one. Okay, it's wrapped in a paper. Okay, so I think this is a tray. Next, this one says, have a sunny day. And you are <gasps> sprinkles. 
Is this actually scented? Excuse me, but is this actually scented? We're gonna have to find out. And what is this? No way! We have the wicks. So we have the little rope that we can put inside the candles. That's fun! That's really cute. I love the packaging it actually comes in. We're gonna sniff this and find out if it actually does smell good. But first, let's see what's in the box. I'm guessing it's going to be the actual glass for the candle. And yes, look at that. What? It even has little packaging. Yeah, this is not glass. It's definitely plastic because glass would be more expensive and it could break. So we have one two candle containers and I like that they put them with some protection. Okay, let's Let's go ahead and sniff this because every time I sniff anything that they make it does not have a scent. But let's see if this one actually smells good. Okay, ready? Oh, say less. It actually has a sweet scent to it. It smells like a generic sweet candle. You can't really put your hands on it, but it has like this vanilla fresh room scent. So let's find the instruction in our guide. Aha. Uh -huh. Got it. And the project is called Birthday Cake Candles. Now I'm going to guess this is going to be fairly straightforward and easy to make. And according to here, step one, we put the wick and some of the resin, harden that. And then step two, add a little bit more resin, add the sprinkles, cut the wick, and then harden it again. And yeah, it shows that there's some kind of scent coming out from the sprinkles, which is really cool. Thankfully they added a layer of scent because that's really very, very neat. And it does say bees wax. And that's it. So let's open our beeswax, voila, and add our nozzle, like so. Oh, I didn't even notice. The two candle containers are actually two different sizes. Okay, I'll take it. And since everything again is pretty transparent, let's take our trusty felt. All right, so according to the instruction, we're going to fill up the wax up until the first top part. Oh my goodness, look at it go. Look at you. So we're gonna keep going until the final loop on top. So we're just gonna keep squeezing. And it is filling up pretty quick. I'm hoping we're not gonna get too many air pockets. So we're gonna let it rest for just a couple of minutes. Voila, looking good. That is a nice smooth color. My goodness. Why is it so satisfying seeing it fill up? Look at that. I'm just gonna keep filling it up. It just goes up higher and higher and just a little more. Oh, that was a big air pocket. And voila, we have to leave space for that thing to actually go in. And here we have our wicks. Nothing's written in the back, so let's pull this out. And voila. Now I wonder if they're two different heights or if it's exactly the same thing. I feel like they're exactly the same height. Let's pull you out. Yeah, and the answer is they're exactly the same. So it doesn't matter which one we put where. And it does, it's actually rope, what? Listen to that. Yeah, it's definitely textured. It has a nice base. Do not, do not light this up. This is not a real tiny candle. These are made of plastic and this will probably be a bad idea. So don't do that. I'm doing the warning for them. I do see that we already have some little air pockets here, but since we're going to put this in and it's probably going to create more air pockets, I'm not going to pop them just yet. So we're going to go ahead and push it in. Let's go. Okay. That's actually looking pretty good. And then we're gonna put it in the smaller one. Why is this so satisfying? Okay, not bad at all. Let's see if I can get rid of this little one. And you, come on little bubble. I think it's looking good. Okay, I think we're good now. And I do want these wicks to stay in the middle. We have my trusty light and we're gonna put it right here and let's go ahead. And now we're gonna hope for the best. I'm gonna leave it there for a couple of minutes. Two minutes later. And here they are. I'm actually pretty impressed. There's very minimal tiny little air pockets so we don't have have bubbles just this tiny one over here so it's very very good and the wicks are a little off center but you know what most candles are not centered centered and now we're supposed to put a little bit more of the resin so let's get you in here like a so voila just so that the sprinkles have something to hold on to so we're gonna swish it around and in here as well voila like a so now it's really hard to see on the pictures how much of the sprinkles they're actually putting. It is really washed out images. So I'm gonna be a little extra and we're just gonna go ahead and put those sprinkles like it's nobody's business. There you go. That's what I'm talking, and it smells so good. So we really do want them to be on there. There, and whatever falls, falls. But for now, here we go. And same thing for the little one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes. Very nice. These look adorable. And now we're going to go ahead and put it again under the UV light for just a couple of minutes. A few moments later. And let's see what they look like up close. Very cute. Now there's probably gonna be some loose sprinkles so we can probably get rid of them like so and like so. Now all the ones on there are actually stuck in the resin. So let's go ahead and cut the wicks just a little shorter. I feel like this one's pretty good, but this one we could probably cut to here. Voila. 
This one I'm pretty good with. I think I want to keep it this height. And here's our decorative shelf. I think they really want us to put them in this thing. And then we can put them in here like so, I guess. I don't think they're necessary to have on the actual platform or the tray, but it does look pretty cute. Despite the fact that this project is actually pretty easy, the materials were absolutely adorable and it is scented. So I'm going to give this a solid 7.5. Next. Let's see which one we get in here. Oh my goodness, what it? No, don't tell me about the same candle. Okay, we definitely get a nozzle. Oh, eucalyptus. Okay, it looks like we are getting another candle. I believe so. Let's take a quick look what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to skip this candle and keep it for a YouTube short. And we're gonna try to get another kind of project. So if you are curious to see what the eucalyptus candle looks like, again, check out my YouTube shorts. But for now, we're going to close you and move on to the next one. Now technically it is considered three different projects, but I don't want to do two candles in a row. So let's see what we have here. What is that? Is that another candle? No! Okay, maybe this one's different. Okay, let's see what this one is. Here it says lavender. Let's see if that one is significantly different interesting and the answer is it is different but not different enough so i'm gonna keep that one also for youtube shorts i feel like at this point the evermore gods just want to give me candles so i think we need to pray to the mini gods evermore gods oh my god so let's put our hands together and pray to the make it mini gods of evermore dear make it mini gods of evermore please protect me from candles doubles incomplete projects and also just give me an aquarium i really want the turtle So I would be happy with an aquarium or some kind of plant. And oh, we're definitely getting an aquarium now because here we have fresh H2O water. <laughs> so here we have Aqua Sun. So we definitely know we're getting a water creature. We have all of these documents, which we do not care about. Here we have the stand for the display. We have oh, one, two. Oh, do not be the same fish. <gasps> no. Please don't be a double. All right, first things first, let's find out what kind of aquarium we have because if it's the one with the kitty ears, it's potentially a double. Oh no, kitty ears. Let me check the guide in case kitty ear aquarium is also something else. It is not, oh no. Uh oh, I think this is going to be the goldfish again. Let's take a quick peek. And it is indeed the goldfish again. Oh no, oh no. I have one more. I think this is my last one. Let's find out what's in there. Otherwise, we're just gonna make a candle. Actually, I'm wrong. We do have two more. I don't think they have codes. No, they do not have codes. So we're gonna test our luck. Please, please be something different. Let's see what we have in here. I think this is a plant. It says happy grow and it looks like a pot. Well, yeah, one medium pot over here. Very nice, very, very cute. Here we have all the guides of how to use this kit. Don't need it. All right, let's pull everything out. We have one surprise, we have the tweezers, we have two surprises, and then we have the guide, and of course we have the display. And again, for the display, we do have this bit over here, so let's go ahead and push it in. Very nice, and okay, this is already in the right spot. Very cute. And let's take a look at our cute little plant. Well, our little pot. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so kind of terracotta-esque. It is plastic though, I like the sound. So here's what it looks like. Oh, I like that. We have patterns going vertically and then we have them going horizontally. I really like miniature. I don't know what my obsession is, but I love tiny boxes. There's something about tiny boxes that just make me happy. And in here, which again is kind of like newspaper. What are you? Oh, a cactus. My goodness, that is cute. Let's bring you grains a little closer. And you can see the tiny little speckles that are supposed to be painful, but luckily they're not because it is plastic, but that is adorable. 
And the tiny newspaper thing here talks about different kinds of find your perfect plant match, little images, everybody has good points. I love this, plant of the month. I love this, really, really cute. And I'm guessing in here we should have the soil and it says sun grow. Oh, we get two, no, there's another thing in here. Oh, look at that. We have a little garden digger thing. I do not know anything about plants, okay? Don't at me. <laughs> here we have potting mix. Okay, so this is like a soil, happy grow. And what are you? No way. So we have the decoration that goes on top. So we have the rock mix. So this should look kind of like soil and rocks in order to make the cactus happy, I guess. Let's find the instructions. Aha. Uh -huh. Got it. And according to the instructions, there's no resin. I just realized there is no resin. Okay. Something feels missing, but okay. We just have to put the soil, put the cactus, and then put the rocks. We could have added some resin, I think. I have to say I am low-key disappointed because if we are paying $10 for a project, I don't feel like having items that are worth less than a dollar should be packaged as so. If you want to make it worth more a little bit more, maybe add a watering can or a spritzer or something that will have that resin type effect, which makes these kits unique. But it is cute. But again, I'm still not feeling it. But let's see how that goes. So we have our potting mix. And you can see here's what it looks like in the back. Let's open you up. Voila. And here's what it looks like. Now let's see how it feels like. It definitely feels like sand. Question is, is it kinetic sand? Kind of. I think it's a little bit of a kinetic sand texture, which is a great fidget toy, by the way. It really has a beautiful brown color. So let's go ahead and put you in. In ya go. I don't know if I'm supposed to put the whole thing, but let's go ahead and see. Look at it just go in. Make yourself at home. Oh my goodness. There. Let's take the little tapa tapa and push everything on the inside. Very good. Yeah, definitely has a very nice soil texture. I like that. Cute. And we're supposed to insert this on the inside. So we do see the roots. I'm gonna go ahead and dig a little bit, push it in like so. Oh, that does not want to hold. Oh no. Oh no, we need to troubleshoot. Now this is pretty top heavy, this whole cactus thing. So I'm gonna try and push it in a little bit more and see if we can get it to stay, but it does not want to stay. I'm gonna push, oh my goodness. Let me pull some of the soil out like so. Let me floof it a little bit. It's very top heavy. Try and push it in. And let's put some of that soil back on top on both sides and smush you in. Does this work? Will this work? Please work. Are you okay? So far so good. Put a little bit more. I feel like it's gonna fall. Yeah, it's definitely falling. This is not well thought out. This is definitely not well thought out. Some of you might say maybe the rocks will help. Maybe, but it needs to stay stable before anything. I'm not pleased with the situation. I'm going to attempt this again. So I made more space. I'm smush it in so I can hold. Please stay. As you can see, I am pretty centered. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hurry and put the rocks right away. All right, the rocks really are cute. I love the packaging for everything, but I feel again this project is not well thought out. Resin would have definitely helped in solidifying everything. So let's put the rocks in. Hopefully that will help, like I saw. I'm putting as much as I can. Voila, that's basically the project. Will it tip over? There's nothing for it to settle. So let's go ahead and see if it will tip over. And the answer is, ooh, it's actually holding in a little bit, but it's not solid. Anything will probably make it fall. Do I like this project? Absolutely not. I feel like this project itself, I'm going to actually rate it a four on 10. Actually, maybe even let's knock it down to three on 10. Let me know of all the three projects that we did so far, which one is your favorite? I'm really excited to try the other batch that's going to come in soon once the pre-order is actually going through. But for something that was really viral and super hype, I think there's a lot of work to be done previously to their food kit. If you want to watch the food set, make sure you click up here. If you want to watch something else like more mystery boxes, make sure you click down here. Until then, I'll see you grains in the next video.